Do you know what King Harold II and rapper Post Malone have in common? Tattoos! Former US President Teddy Roosevelt, former UK Prime Minister Winston Churchill, also King George V, all got themselves inked. According to 2022 statistics, over 145 million Americans have tattoos, and over 1.65 billion is spent on tattoos annually just in the United States. But this is not a modern-day trend. The craze of tattooing goes back thousands of years. Remains from the Neolithic era, Greeks and Romans show they all used tattoos for various purposes. Despite no written record, advancements in technology have enabled researchers to uncover irrefutable evidence of tattooing in ancient Egypt. And now, archaeologists may have deciphered a sacred motif in ancient Egyptian mummy tattoos. Today on Crunch, let us have a look at the secrets decoded by archaeologists from ancient Egyptian tattoos. Humans have been marking up their bodies for millennia in various ways. People have engaged themselves in body modification from extremely mundane stuff to super elaborate art forms, going all out like Lucky Diamond Rich. Tattoos have served as amulets, status symbols, declarations of love, signs of religious beliefs, adornments, and even forms of punishment. And lower back tattoos may seem like an early 21st century fad, popularized by low-rise jeans-clad celebrities. But the recent discovery by researchers Anne Austin and Mary Lee Zarnett at the New Kingdom site of Dier al Medina proved archaeological evidence that the lower back has been a trendy tattoo spot for more than 3,000 years. Dier al Medina lies on the western bank of the Nile, across from the archaeological site of Luxor. Beginning in 1922, around the same time that King Tut's tomb was found, the site was excavated by a French team. Prior research has shown the town was active over the years 1550 to 1070 BCE. It served as a community to house the families of men who were building tombs for Egyptian royalty. And over the years, researchers have found that the town was neatly planned, with even streets and homes for the people that lived there. An important feature of the site is the so-called Great Pit, an ancient dump full of pay stubs, receipts, and letters on papyrus that have helped archaeologists better understand the lives of the common people. But nothing in the Great Pit mentioned the practice of tattooing. However, while studying the mummies found in the town, researchers came across the ancient tattoos. The new evidence that Austin discovered came from two tombs that she and her team examined in 2019. One tomb had been looted and the mummy unwrapped. On examining the preserved skin, patterns of dark black coloration were found, creating an image that, if symmetrical, would have run along the woman's lower back. This reconstructed image depicts the entire tattoo as it might have appeared, with the lines still visible on the black skin. Just to the left of the horizontal lines is a depiction of Bess and a bowl, imagery related to ritual purification during the weeks after childbirth. Bess was a widely worshipped deity in ancient Egypt, who was thought to be a protector of children and pregnant women, and depictions of him were frequently seen in the bedrooms of ancient Egyptian households. The second tattoo comes from a middle-aged woman discovered in a nearby tomb. This tattoo would have been extremely difficult to see with the naked eye, so infrared photography was used to reveal the details. The symmetrical pattern on her lower back is also slightly different from that of the other mummy, featuring a water pattern and a line of plants. Researchers think this might represent the shores of the Nile, where women could have gone to soothe themselves during pregnancy or menstruation. The scene is watched over by a wedgedai, a representation of the Egyptian god Horus, used to symbolize healing, well-being and protection. Along with the mummies, three clay figurines depicting women's bodies that were found at Dia El Medina decades ago were re-examined by Marie Lesarnet, who is an Egyptologist at John Hopkins University in Baltimore. She suggested that they too show tattoos on the lower back and upper thighs that include depictions of Bess. Sonia Zarazewski, a bioarchaeologist at the University of Southampton in the UK, suggested that these tattoos are imprinting protective representations, including gods on their bodies, almost like the person has their own portable magical amulet with them. Although these mummies tell us a lot about the ancient tattoo culture, they weren't the first to be found. 
We can't say for sure when exactly the practice of tattooing began, as we keep finding older and older mummies with evidence of ink. As of now, the record of the oldest body art, with a whopping 61 tattoos, is held by the alpine mummy known as Otzi, the Iceman. He is thought to have lived between 3370 and 3100 BC, but his tattoos don't seem to be done for artistic or religious reasons. Rather than figurative, they were just vertical or horizontal lines that appeared to be medicinal. They cover parts of his body where he had joint and spinal problems. This might have served as ancient acupuncture, a way to help relieve some pain or stress. The tattoos weren't made by a needle, as we would do now, but by probably cutting the skin very finely and rubbing charcoal into it. The first known figurative tattoos were found on two 5,000-year-old mummies, a male and a female from Gebelein, Egypt. They had been sitting in a British museum for over 100 years before their tattoos were discovered. On the male body, scientists spotted images of a wild bull and what appeared to be a Barbary sheep. The bull is a more obvious symbol of power, while a sheep might not seem particularly fierce. Bagging a Barbary sheep with just a bow and arrow, or more likely trapping one, was the ultimate flex in ancient Egyptian big game hunting. The woman had two tattoos on her upper right arm and shoulder, one of which was a vertical line with an angled top, possibly representing a short staff or throw stick. The other was a series of S-shaped shapes. Taken alone, this evidence for tattoo arts in early Egypt is interesting, but within the larger context of Egyptian art from between 3500 and 3100 BC, it is remarkable. Or was tattooing even more common than realized before? Though it is unknown how widespread it may have been elsewhere in ancient Egypt, let's hope scholars will find evidence of tattooing so that we can see if it was limited to a specific era and place or was a part of a broader tradition in ancient Egypt that we simply haven't discovered yet. Till then, give this video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below if you are part of the big tattoo bandwagon. Thanks for watching Crunch. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified each time we come up with a new video.